So this is a package that we evacuated on a suction style machine. Now what we're going to do is take this same package and put it into a chamber style machine. And what we want to look for in this situation is how much air is left inside this package and how much more air this machine can get out of the package. So what we're going to do is put a, a sealed bag into the vacuum chamber and then start the pump. And as soon as you get around to where this bag has, or the machine has equalized the atmospheric pressure, there's still air left in the bag, which is why it expands, which is why the bag sort of puffs up and blows up. So the machine is now going to get more air out, and we still have another 10 seconds of time left, which is going to extract more air than the suction style machines did. So these machines give you a higher caliber vacuum, and the bags are much less expensive when you use them when you use this type of machine. And now you can see it back collapsing back down to where the original pressure was in the bag. So it still feels like a brick, but if you were to vacuum pack this same product in this machine, you would have a longer shelf life because you'd gotten more air out of the bag than you would have with a suction style machine.